we're gonna do so we're gonna fry our plantain eggs we got our onions and scallion and red pepper yellow pepper green pepper your peppers and stuff like that save you preparing each time you're gonna cook if you cook cut them up and stick them in a bag stick them in a freezer they're ready when you need them just separate what you need from what you don't planting and for those who don't know is just a larger version of a banana and it depends also on what banana you're comparing it to there you go now with a planting you can fry it boil it bake it you can do basically what you like with it you can do the same thing with your banana you can even eat it raw like your banana Yep, so we're gonna fry our eggs in this and I'm gonna get some scotch bonnet thrown here again scotch bonnet cut up wash cut up and frozen So I'm gonna get some of that Chuck that in there. I'm gonna cook it all up and I'll show you How to do my omelette. The only thing is I forgot to get the cheese Yeah, so I'm gonna see what I can do without the cheese cheese less omelette don't make no sense, but here we go. We're um Got our plant in peel. I was just showing you how I peel it and slice it up. Yeah, got my frying pan on. It looks a bit mangy in there, but that's only because I fried an egg in there just earlier, but that's not a problem. Right, you get your pan hot, get your plant in. Let's just get one slice to show you. And you drop that in there. Next one. Yeah. It's a bit all over the gas just because I'm trying to work with one hand. But this is why when you're working, you work clean. Yeah? Make sure your work area is clean. So when things fall off, drop, drop, fall off, whichever way you want to put it, you got no worries about getting things contaminated. Yeah? Okay, there we go. Our plantings in a pot. Basically, what you're looking for is see where it's just starting to turn color there? Because the planting are ripe, because the fire is high, I should say, it's turning color very quickly. So, all we need to do is turn the fire down. There we go. You get a fire alarm going off. So, turn it down and go and reset your fire alarm. Okay, back in a minute. Okay, that's my first uh, planting fry. I'm about to put my second one in, but I have a couple of things I wanna tell you before I do that or while I'm doing it. Right, now, with your tablecloth, yeah? Because you're cooking on gas, there it is, cooking on gas for real. Right, when you hold your pot like that, for example, or whatever pot it is, be careful of the flames and your cloth. See, that is our easy. Can I show you? Uh, probably had not catching the house of light now, showing to show you. You get the idea. It will catch a light, yeah? And if it does, just throw it in the water. Or depending on how big a flame it is, I'm going to try and catch it there. Uh, there you go. You see that? Shake it, flames out, but double check, make sure it is out. If you're in any doubt, chuck it in the sink and wet it up. Anyway, now our oiling, the way I check my oil if it's hot, is I get some water, there you go. That's hot, don't need no more than that. Don't need to stick anything else in there. Right, next we've got our hot oil. Get our fork back again. And our planting, get it there. Drop it in. Next one. Then it goes. You don't want your flame to be too high, just a medium flame, yeah? Otherwise, it's just gonna burn up quickly, like I say. And it hasn't really cooked it. And if you don't want it cooked, you should have eaten it raw. If you're gonna cook it, cook it properly. There you go. Give that at you, dear. Right, so we're just gonna let this lot do its thing. Keep an eye on it. 
and we throw this in the rubbish. Yeah, so get rid of that. Right, what I'm going to do next, I've got a couple of eggs here. I'm going to do two eggs. I'm going to just scramble them around in here, whisk them up. And I'm going to put this on to fry up. So I'm going to put this on, whisk it, bit, bit of all purpose seasoning or something like that. While this do its thing, as you can see, it's doing it nicely. Okay. There you are, frying away, I've turned it over, looking good. And as you can see, it looks a lot cleaner than when you compare it to this one. This one because I fried it in the oil that the egg was in. No big deal, but remember, it's all about that taste. So this probably will taste like egg planted. Whereas this one will taste like fresh planting. Oh, you could either sprinkle a little salt on it now, or you could sprinkle a little salt on it before serving or just leave it. People put their own salt on. There you go, containers, salt and pepper, stick them on the table, they can do their thing. Yeah, okay. Okay, we've taken out our planting. There's our pot, still hot. So what we're gonna do now, we're gonna get our seasoning, which is onions, peppers, and um, onion, peppers, scallion, yeah? We're gonna chuck that in there, in here, nice and hot. Right, some of this stuff you see I do, don't necessarily copy the way I do it because I've had my fair share of burns. And if you can avoid getting burns, makes sense to avoid it, yeah? Right, so I've got all that in there. Here's my egg, I've whisked up my egg, which I'm gonna pour in there once all this lot is cooked down a bit, yeah? So, get that there. Mm. Oh, smell that. What we're going to do, we're not going to put the all purpose seasoning in the egg. We're going to season up this lot. We're just going to put some all purpose seasoning in there. Only because we want all purpose seasoning. I'm not going to show you what it is, neither. Only because. Don't leave people phoning me up and say, Oh, you use our stuff so we can see you. No, I'll probably say, oh, go and might use it and we get free publicity. See, there's that side as well. Anyway, Granddad's doing his thing. Yeah? Oh, I'm telling you. You know what I keep forgetting to mention when you're doing these things? What you need? You need music. Yeah, you need music in the background. Music to make you feel good. So you know what you're doing is good. And when you dance, when you eat your food, you know that the food good. Mm -hmm. So it's all about good. Anyway, let's ch chat in foolishness and leave our pot for a couple of seconds. They just go and do what it's doing while we Wait to throw our egg in, yeah? And we're gonna make a couple of slices of toast to go with that. So, the toast is no big deal. Here's your toaster, chuck the bread in, pull the cake nut down. When it pops up, it's ready, yeah? So, we're gonna do that after we do this. And tea, you know how to make tea? I'm gonna show you how to make tea, yeah? Okay. Okay, here we go. We've got everything piled up in the middle there. Smelling good. What we're gonna do now is get our egg that we've beaten. Yeah. Our fire. Uh, just a moderate heat we're looking for. We're not looking to go crazy. Yeah. There you go. All right. And get our eggs and we just pour it straight on there. Just like that, covering the whole shebang. Yeah, we're just gonna leave that, let it do its thing. Cause as I'm going along, I'm thinking, boy, what would happen if I just do this? Let it just do the bottom off and then put it under the grill. Let it just do the top off. 
then I don't have to mash it up, scramble it, and then just slide it out on the plate. Then, while I was doing, I could run down and go get some cheese. Yeah, forget all that, but that's long. Anyway, here we go. We're going to give that a couple of minutes, let the egg just do what it does, and then we get back to you, yeah? There it is, our end result. Looking fairly tasty, I would say. Yeah. So I'm going to stick that on the table. Um, there's too much clutter on the table. I'll do that in a minute. I tell you what, let me just stick it back on the stove and continue with the serving. My toast has popped up, as you can see. Very lightly toast. Yeah, so I'm going to stick two more on. Those look like they ain't even toast, but they're toast. Okay. One momento. Right, we're going to make our tea now. So we've got our cup. We've put two spoons of sugar in there. And tea bag I thought was in there, but it's not. It's over here. This is why you keep your place clean. So things don't get contaminated. I could spin that around, dance with it, do whatever I want, but I'm not gonna. I'll stick that in there. Yeah. Come and get my kettle, which is boiled just now. My hot water. And pour that in there. Now, you just had the sugar you want. No necessary for milk. The tea bag, that's it. Mint tea is, by the way. Peppermint, yeah. And that's it, job done. Just got to stir it and drink it. Yeah, so let me put my kettle back. Got my tea ready. And over here, mm, that's my breakfast. Toast, planting, and omelette without the cheese. It did pan out to be an omelette. It looks like an omelette. So we're going to work with omelette. Omelette without the cheese. Toast and fried planting for breakfast. Let's go. Right, my tea. Got my food. How does that look? Mmm, lovely. Okay, that's it. Here we have it. Tea's finished. Excuse me, plates clean and it's all good. So once again, I'd like to take this opportunity. Oh, we have got some planting here. What you do with your planting? Slice of bread, boom, planting sandwich. Yeah, so take this opportunity to say thanks again for watching my video. Good luck, hope they help and see you soon. Ta-da!